tight glass walls that have blurred the boundary between the sitting room and the central courtyard. Almost the entire building is arranged around it, including the enormous kitchen. At the rear of the site, where the slope is steepest, there'll be a bedroom block half built into the hill and sheathed with two stories of south-facing glass to capture light. Oh, it's coming out! With five bedrooms and four bathrooms, it this back. will be a huge and glamorous modernist mansion. Thomas and Derva are giving themselves just nine months to build the whole thing. Feasible on a flat site, perhaps, but this is far from flat. The site is not the easiest site to get to to build on, oh. because you, you, you've got the building right outside, literally against that perimeter. Yeah, and it's so flat, it's not flat. No access from the sides, and certainly not from above. No. On one steep track up. That's right. You can only sight the level, and you can deliver your materials, and you can carry them by hand to wherever the location is you want to put them, or deliver them where you want them. This one's under, this, this one's under the shadow of a landslide. That's it. That's exactly it. Thomas seems pretty relaxed about the difficulties of this site, but he's already had to construct these enormous retaining walls that reach two meters back into the hillside. They're the domestic equivalent of the Hoover Dam. This is the bedroom so three bedrooms on the right. And this is where concrete was going in? Yeah, well. Oh, the only way up. Thomas can make his vast, glamorous design affordable is by not employing a main contractor. Instead, they formed a design and build team. Architect, Derva, is project manager. Have you done this before? No, I haven't. Asked. I don't know how to write building. <laughs> I keep on the the back line. I have no experience whatsoever besides having a husband as an architect. But um, I'm up for the challenge. So that was the first time project for project manager. Oh. Not an easy. It did come out quicker, don't you? Know? Very difficult to find. Really difficult to access. It's There's a lot of hard work, yeah. But it's, it's the challenge because you don't. You know, you don't get a final and finished product at the end of your own building. It's your own home, and frankly, it's going to be your own home. We'll have so much input that I will have into my home, and Thomas will have being the architect. But you know, it's quite a challenge. Thomas and Derva's budget is three hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Their plan is to finance the build by selling the house at the front, but they won't put it on the market until it's been transformed to complement the new building. In the meantime, they've taken out a bank loan to fund the first half of the build and get work started. Eight weeks in, and earth is still being excavated. So far, a staggering 200 lorry loads of soil have been removed from site, and many more will follow. It's the price of building on a hill. These are the kind of epic groundwork you usually find on civil engineering projects. But Thomas just keeps them in his stride. I've done any job. I don't really mind how big it is. In fact, I don't really see any challenge. But I can't overcome it or do it. I, don't, I, I just, the way I kind of think about things, like I just think about, yeah, it's certainly be difficult, but we'll give it a go. Thomas is used to large scale projects. Among other things, he's designed big commercial buildings. For the duration of this build, he's moved his practice into the front house, from where he'll juggle this project with work. His commercial experience has given him bags of confidence. But it has to be said that the size of this place has already scared the wits out of his builders. Although Derva and Thomas have put their back retaining wall up, they still have, amazingly, 12,000 blocks yet to lay on this. Now, the contractor they had, who built this wall, left to lay the rest. And the second contractor was so daunted by all the mud here that he didn't bother turning up. And the third contractor, that bloke standing over there, he turned up just in time to have a look at the site. Well, from here, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get it. Yeah. Yeah.
says it all. What are your legs like? When you win, when you meet friends, when you're lost, and when a long day ends, your face says it all. You take better care of it when you dub men plus care moisturizer. Our unique formula can sting you and bite your dog in the day. So at the end of the day, your skin still feels good. Your face says it all. Take better care of it when you dub men plus care. Experience the ultimate cleanse for a healthier life. New Colgate Total Incidental releases millions of microparticles in between teeth to fight spinal bacteria while brushes can't reach. For the extraordinary You're pretty excited. <laughs>